Hi! The ice blasters are here and we're gonna ice blast the bottom of the car because we didn't realize we was gonna have to use as much from Sue as we did and it's a bit dirty and we wanna get it nice and clean so it looks good so Rolls Royce don't suspect anything if anything needs to go back for warranty. Straight pipe. Don't reverse it into that. <laughs> you know what you're doing? No. <laughs> you're all right. Do you know when we put the 20p coin on the engine last time? Yeah. It had a broken engine mount. Oh. Now it's got a legit engine mount. You reckon it'll be better? Where's the 20p? I feel like it's going to work better. How can it work better? I have no idea. <laughs> How can it work better? <laughs> this is like the pot of change that I find in cars, you know, when I buy them. That's all changed from cars you've rebuilt. Yeah, like, do you know when you get the console code part, you look under the seats. <laughs> right, go on, start it up. Is that your idea of it being better? <laughs> Do you reckon that's added power? <laughs> right down there. No. <laughs> 20 piece magnetic or the alloy? No. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't magnetic. Oh no. Now it's going to be like a rattly 20p yeah. inside the engine. That's your fault. <laughs> oh, 20 piece ain't magnetic. <laughs> How's that going? No. A pound coin you could pick up. <laughs> 20p though, we've made it out of carbon fibre. So just leave it in there now. You're gonna have to, you just have to leave it. It's gonna rip. <laughs> oh, I can see it! <laughs> Where? It's down there, look! There, look! Oh, yeah, there, it is. there it is! There it is, there it is! It's balancing on the engine, but anyway. <laughs> Guys, this whole video is just gonna be me fishing out a coin. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's not do that again. So, car's gonna go in the ramp. We're gonna let the arse blasters go crazy on it, make it look brand new. Yeah. So, we cleaned up this side because we knew we was going to use this side because it's broken. We didn't realise we were going to use this side because of Rashford doing handbrake turns. So we're going to clean up all of this side and, well, I assume you're just going to go at it all so underneath, yeah. Clean. See how clean we can get it. Is that oil? Yeah, there is a bit of oil there, but that's probably after we filled it up, wasn't it? It went everywhere, yeah. Yeah, it did go everywhere. Somebody yeah. said that you don't fill them up to the level wrong, didn't they? What a load of rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're back on Sue. That's a bit old now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> to get to the door hinges, we've got to open the door. Don't want to dent this one because we need it. And we can't get to the hinges because we can't open the door. So to get to the hinges, we need to get the car off the ramp. To get it off the ramp, we need wheels on it. To have wheels on it, we need subframes on it. We don't have any good subframes, you only have the broken subframes. And remember, in the first video, I bought a BMW 7 Series rear subframe because, like, the theory was that it actually fits and it looked exactly the same. But apparently it doesn't fit. Now I've had to do a bit of a modification. Shall I show you? It's not safe for the road, this. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> but we can put the wheels on and roll it and push it out. You know how the back of the frame, the frame has got these big bushes in? Oh yeah. my God. Well, this one hasn't anymore. <laughs> what have you done? I had to cut the bush out so that it fits this side, but it still, if you look there, doesn't line up this side. Oh my God. <laughs> so what you're saying is a seven series subframe is too small to fit on a Rolls Royce. Yes. So imagine if we didn't get the donor car and we would try to cross-reference parts on BMW, it would have been a whole nightmare. That cost me 350 pounds, 350 pound loss, but it has enabled us to get it out. Look what, at what's that. that? <laughs> <laughs> so is it only is it got two bolts in this side yeah two bolts this side one, one bolt, that. bolt that side <laughs> oh we ain't got any wheels we've got um one off uh margaret Ma margaret and one that will blow up but it loses it oh anyway. okay so we could put two wheels on the back and then have a jack on the front and drag yeah. it forward it's gonna be legit do you reckon they'll go on without the disc have you heard it yet <laughs> oh. <laughs> good job we didn't use that either they'll go on without discs got margaret's wheels well, the only two wheels which hold air. They're so heavy, I've been gym today and I'm like, <laughs> a bit fatigued. Yeah, these are insanely heavy. Oh, there's no brake disc. Why did it go on? <laughs> there's a brake disc. You got any BM wheels? I think I do, actually. I can't believe how heavy this wheel is. Yeah, that don't fit on that. I ain't had his porridge this morning, has it? If I had a BMW wheel. <laughs> 
Yeah, I reckon that should work, shouldn't it? Can't see why not. <laughs> It's a lot lighter than that Mansori one. I think it's going to be on the floor. I think it might need to break this. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lip on the hub. That's why I won't sit all the way up. I can find another one. <laughs> so this one goes, oh, look, the centre ball. Do you reckon this one's going to work? This could work. <laughs> yes, three's enough. Will you ever see a roller with a steely on? That wheel bearing's rough. The suit's looking pretty trendy with the new shoes. They're looking pretty steezy, aren't they? Only a few bolt holes line up. <laughs> I think that wheel bearing's gone as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to set the brake caliper off to fit it because the wheel didn't quite clear the brake caliper. One thing is, these wheels have never been seen on a Rolls Royce before. That is true. <laughs> I think we wanted to try that, would you? I think we're going to lower it down and then we're going to. Put the jack on the front and drag it forward. Bless her. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need painting. <laughs> <laughs> it's slammed, look. Oh my God. We need to get the back end up. There's a bigger bit that side than this side. <laughs> wait, wait, I don't know if I want to be here. Do you want to push it then? I don't, what, are you going to be here? Yeah, I'll be here. I'm going to die instead of mine. I've got life insurance, I don't know. Why is it not moving? Go in, go in. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's absolutely decked out of that. That is that. steez. Right, are you pushing? Yeah, ready? It's two and a half ton. Yeah, and again. Yeah, and again. You're all right. You're all right. Oh, my jack's a bit wobbly. You're all right. Yeah, that might be. Is that enough? Is that enough? Oh, yeah. perfect. Right, we'll get the door off now. Gonna take the door cod off for two reasons. Well, first reason, this door is about as heavy as... Jeff Capes! It's Jeff Capes. <laughs> it's as heavy as Jeff Capes. <laughs> it's told us before, apparently he's a shop putter or something. You know that really yeah, well-known heavy bloke called Jeff Capes? <laughs> <laughs> and two, we don't need this door cod because we're gonna put on the Mansori one. <laughs> So, I'm an expert at this now. You need torques for that? Yeah, I need torques. I need, uh, and a flathead. See how this one goes? Goes in here, like that. That's a little light, lights up when you're driving at night. And then look, it reveals a T20 in there. Wow. Yes. Right, so one T20 in here. There's hidden bolts in here, it's crazy. You won't believe it. We want to save these as well, because here's another moment that we're going to leak out here. We're actually thinking there might be light at the end of the tunnel for Sue. What we're thinking of doing is we're going to tally up the cost to repair soup in our own time and like that way we can kind of find cheaper parts and rebuild it and maybe if we can put sue back on the road we could potentially give her away to one of the subscribers that's big news it's big news but i'm not promising anything it's just if it works out okay right that one that one i can't get out uh where's this hidden one that i found last time oh that's been oh, no. re-glued on look there's a witch that's entered the building. <laughs> oh look, there's the look one of them lights that was in the McLaren. Oh look, you're good at breaking. I'm good at breaking them. Didn't break that one though. The good thing is that they use all the same bolts to hold it on the door, which is mad respect from mechanics. <laughs> that way you don't have to have your tool lady go and get them all the time. Right, there's one out. Oh look, another one up there. This is a good bit. Comes out now. Feels expensive this bit. Oh, unplug. And then this, I remember, I think I just yanked it. There we are. And then that's out. Why did they put dates on everything? So that was fitted after the seat because the seat's got the 15th on. There you go. The annoying thing that I will say they do is they put all the wiring attached to the door card, which is annoying because then you have to disconnect it from the door card. Why not attach it to the door? But you know what? I don't build them. Oh, we've got Mansori lights to put in. Mansori puddle lights. Is that lights. nothing from here? Yeah. yeah. That is heavy. You like the wheels, Baz? <laughs> <laughs> do you know like caddies at golf do they advise what what club they should use to hit the ball with they do don't they yeah so why is my tool man not advising me the tool <laughs> <laughs> i hope you guys like the second channel content it gives you more in depth behind the scenes feel of how long stuff actually takes to get off oh there we go she's out oh i've just hit my knuckle 
Right, I'm undoing the check strap. The check strap is the part of the door which holds it in position when you open it so it don't just go crazy. You know that? I did not know that. I only know that because on my Volkswagen Lupo that I had years ago, it used to open the door and you see it go cling, cling, <laughs> cling. Was that your first car, a Lupo? No, that was my second car. Right. What was your first car? Ford Fiesta, oh. 1.1 litre, where the engine blew up once and then me and my dad changed it. Well, my dad tipped the bolts and the bolts that I had to take off. So I undid all the bolts and we take the engine out, put a new engine in. And then guess what I did to that engine? Blew up. Blew up again. <laughs> when he was younger, he thought you already had a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you know the fact that I blew up two engines? I think it might show that it was user error rather than just <laughs> user error. <laughs> yeah. Right, what are we going with this one? 10. 10? 10. No. Oh, it's an eight. Look, my caddy's. Oh, yeah, the caddy's all over the place today. Do you want a 3 8 drive instead of breaking that quarter drive ratchet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the caddy's working. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Are you ready for the world's heaviest door? Bearing in mind it's about three quarters of the side of the car. The good thing about this is we need the glass, the wing mirror, and probably most of the electrics, and we've got it all. We've ordered a Mansori wing, we've ordered all the Mansori parts, but I, I assume it doesn't come with that. Cool thing about this as well, look, it's got the umbrellas. Right, this is gonna fall off. Ready? Okay. Way! Door off, this has gotta be painted inside and out, so there's no point in putting trims on it, but we're gonna need this door to put on the Mansori one so we can line the quarter when we go to repair it or replace it. Okay, we need that, but we also need as well the boot hinges. On the oh, Rashford boot. one, I swear the boot's fiberglass. It is. What's this? Oh look, it's had a wee. Oh. Magnet. <laughs> it's a loose magnet. <laughs> this trim is carbon fiber on Man, sorry one, and it's got a little carbon so, fiber spoiler. We've got to put the whole boot on that one, haven't we? Because that one's broke. Yeah, if we can use the whole boot, yeah. then good. So we need an airbag, we need the curtain airbag at the top, because that's blown, and we need the seat airbag, but we're just trying to work out, like, I don't think you can unclip that, because when the airbag blows out, it breaks the clip. So I think we've got to take the back off the seat, get to the airbag from the back, and then look at seeing if we can get the seat repaired afterwards. Look at that! They did it! <laughs> so it's eyes blasted, clear coated, and that's going to protect it. Look how new it is. It's basically brand new. How would they know that that's come off? Sue. So, so. All we need to do is paint this caliper, which we can do, because I think it'll have to go in different colour calipers anyway. But it's come up a treat at the back. Yeah, you literally could not tell now. So that's front different. front is on it. So we're on this section at the minute. So this bit's obviously not been touched, but we're on. on yeah, it looks done. a treat. When I try and claim something on warranty at Rolls Royce, they're not going to know, are they? So you may be thinking, why am I watching the cameraman? <laughs> Take on up a door into that's because we've now got a backup cameraman. Reveal yourself, backup cameraman. Reveal yourself. <laughs> that can't go in the video. <laughs> How did you miss with your thumbs that big? <laughs> right, look how big his thumb is, and he just missed that. Oh, oh, yeah. Anyway, look, we've got a black umbrella. The thing is, with this, we thought it might be branded to Rolls, but it ain't. And we've asked Mansori if the Mansori umbrellas are branded to Mansori, but they ain't. They, they keep them Rolls. But I think if you're a Mansori, you would brand your umbrellas Mansori, wouldn't you? Yeah. Just to, like, you know when you're walking outside Monaco Casino, you want to flex that you got a Mansori Rolls, not just a roll, so that is the best way to flex without being next to your car, isn't it? Having a Mansori umbrella. God, it feels nice. They're a thousand pound each on eBay, these. Oh! Oh. Yeah, look at that. It was already broken before I pulled it off. And I can prove it because look, this is all wet sanded. So it's been painted. This whole car's been painted. Drip yeah, I think it's had damage on this door because you know the bottom of that door? It's wavy. It's all a bit, yeah, wavy, isn't it? Well, we're wavy. Oh. I need this trim, so I'm trying to be as careful as I can. Oh, Ooh. Yeah, real careful, man. <laughs> oh, Ooh, yes. Any clips broke? Oh, you did a good no, job on that one. Did right, yeah. Yeah, good work. Thanks. <laughs> Pip. Lightsaber. That is the weirdest thing <laughs> to ever come off a car. You never think that that's come off a car, do you? Marcus Rashford was driving 30 mile an hour when he crashed his car. <laughs> 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 He said that. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> you are the chosen one. Don't break them. No this one. is the most expensive fencing fight ever. <laughs> I don't feel yeah, safe, wait, wait, do you get, get stabbed underneath the arm. Oh, it's got to be under that arm, innit? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's how they do it. What's this? I found this in the back of the car. Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. John Ponetsa Mangudia. This is the governor so, of Zimbabwe's phone number, look. Call him. What, he was, he was in the car? There he is, look! John! He yeah. owns Zimbabwe Reserve Bank. 100% state ownership. What's, What's he doing what? in the suit? He's Maybe he was deal. in the back. Doing business deals. Or <laughs> someone was in the back who got given his card. Yeah. Big, Big cheese. Big up John, look at him. Big John. Hey, shout out John, does anyone know John? Because he was in the back of Sue. Was, Doesn't yeah. sound good that, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Should we watch yeah. this channel? Yeah. Got Twitter. Can we tweet at him? Big up John. Big up John, just found your car in Sue. What are you doing, bro? He might be some mafia or something, we don't yeah. know. Do Give us some mafia boss. Should we leave John alone? What are you doing, Matthew? I'm uh, taking the uh, chains off, Auntie. You might get your hands dirty. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. So I reckon we take the backing off this, see if we can get to the airbag. Ooh. Ooh. Can I just have a T30 then, please? Here you go, Matthew. Wow, got all of them. That's like your caddy and golfer saying, can I have the driver, please? Pass you all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Pass you the bag. Pitching wedge, please. Have one. <laughs> <laughs> we might... Ow, Susie. We might be able to save the blue side of the bag because from the looks of it it's not actually glued in it's just sort of clips around the back so i reckon we should be able to get a nice oem replacement on there oh look it's just all raveled in like that yeah that blows off in my hand it's gonna really hurt <laughs> <laughs> boom <laughs> <laughs> got you <laughs> Right, the hydraulic springy thing which holds the boot up is disconnected. Now, look, can you just see? See the last bolt on there on the hinge, which, can I just say, would have been a lot easier if they put it the other way around and you could undo it from the boot, but no. That would be logical. I don't get why they haven't done that. Yo. Oh no, Susie. Oh no. Where's that going? Oh no, there's one each side. In oh. oh no. Oh. Now we stop forever. We're in trouble because this loom goes all the way <laughs> past the back seats. So things got to be disconnected inside the boot. Oh. Prepare or prepare to fail when we didn't prepare. <laughs> I'm dedicated cameraman. I've had to undo some bolts in the boot, so now. Okay, yeah, well, this is an angle. This is. It's actually not bad, isn't it? Like with the carpet in, I reckon you could have a good kit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wouldn't mind being kidnapped in the back of a Rolls. <laughs> what coop do you know you can lay comfortably in the back like this and still have room for like the TV and stuff? Like, <laughs> TV? Yeah, like, <laughs> I could actually chill here, but like, got. There's no starlight roof, but there is a light. It's all right. That's so I can get out on a road trip in the boot. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's in case you do put someone in the boot. <laughs> that's, by, that's by law now that you have yeah. to have them, isn't it? Wouldn't you be peed off, though, when you, if you pulled it and it snaps? <laughs> <laughs> Pull it. Yank! Yeah! yeah. Awesome. Have a look at the suspension, though, man. <laughs> it's looking good. Look how weird that boot looks. Good one of the Mansory one, we've got like a lip to go on it. It looks like, let me show you what it looks like. Looks like that at the back. <laughs> Just put some eyes there. There. It looks like that, look. <laughs> that's that, that's its head, look. <laughs> go on, Matt. <laughs> Just no way that goes in, innit? Does it come out? <laughs> <laughs> Don't that look like the boot? <laughs> it looks like the <laughs> Look, the eyes are on the side. <laughs> Tell me, how does that beluga whale look forward when their eyes are on each side? <laughs> <laughs> how does that work? <laughs> okay, next step, we're going to remove the curtain airbag. Gigs bear pop, pop in your thoughts as an artist. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, and then T20, please. Yes, I'm a genius. Oh, there's another tether at the front. Yes. See, look, it's got tethers on here. So when your airbag blows off, 
just like on the F1 cars, they have tethers on the wheels so they don't go in the track. And uh, this blows off, goes out of the way, airbag comes and saves your head. Got all this. Got to get all this out. Here's the uh, like the canister thing, the explosive bit, which I'm going to try and disconnect. <laughs> Need a flathead. What's a flathead? Did you hear what he just said? That's crazy movements. Have you not ever built Opal Ikea? Maybe take a random guess. He's going to take a random guess, apparently. We could get anything now. What do you need? A flathead. A flathead? For a flathead. That's, that's, that's a screwdriver. That must be the easiest tool <laughs> to get out of the toolbox. <laughs> <laughs> we employ someone who doesn't know what a flathead is. If you've what seen a photo it? of that and someone says, what's that? What would you call it? A flathead screwdriver. <laughs> Look, you squash them together, come out. Oh. oh my god, that is just so good. Can I just say, look at the back of this Rolls Royce. <laughs> it's so bad. I need a T30, but on a socket. No problem. He's just got me the socket, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, what am I going to do? What am I going to do with that? <laughs> is that wrong? <laughs> no, that's right, that's right, but how am I going to undo the bolt? Oh. No. <laughs> He's got it. Look at that. Okay. Oh, I know what I need as well. Toby, yeah. the glass hammer. <laughs> I just saw the biggest hammer in there. I thought yeah. we should do the job. Yeah, it's always the glass one I need. <laughs> what would you make a hammer out of? You know, if you had to make it, would you make a hammer out of glass? What are you Googling? Glass hammer. <laughs> Why is this so confusing? <laughs> That's how it doesn't make sense. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. This could be classed as bullying. <laughs> Do you know if you're going to make a hammer? Yeah, no, I get it now. I just thought it was a name of a hammer. Right. So you bet. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Last one, right in the back. There we go. That is one long curtain airbag. Out. I think we've got everything to go on Margaret now. <laughs>